I love sheath underwear. It's amazing. I wear it in the pool. It's fun. It's like an underwear, but a bathing suit. It's great. It cradles your junk. You t- you tuck your cock and balls into the front little pouch mm-hmm. of it, and it just cradles them. It's very nice. It's fun. It makes you look. It kind of stimulates you, so you always kind of have a little bit of a halfie. You walk around. It looks nice. It seems nice. Sheath underwear. They're big fans of the show. We really appreciate it. They send us free underwear all the time. It's great. You don't ever get sweaty or weird or anything like that. It's a nice underwear for people, and uh, I think everybody should should buy it. That's the way I feel. Do you agree with that? Yeah, all they have to do is use promo code Tim and save 20%. Are you telling me promo code Tim will save them 20% on sheath underwear? 20%. Which is perfect as a bathing suit or in the pool. I mean, it's just the most versatile piece of underwear you'll ever get. Sheath underwear, Tim is the promo code and they get 20% off because that seems fucking wild. It's crazy considering they're a small business. They're a small business. Yes. And if if uh, it's 100% money back on the first pair, so you have nothing to lose. Yeah, if you don't like them, you get all your money back, but you're going to love them. You're yeah. going to love sheath underwear and their small business. It's a great American story. Love them. Love them. Uh, sheath underwear is worn by comedians and UFC fighters. True warriors on the front line. And if Cowboy Cerrone and... Ari Shafir wears sheaths. It's probably pretty decent. Would you say, Tim? Well, I don't love that. It's in the copy. I don't love that. <laughs> I don't love that copy. <laughs> I mean, what are we doing here? I'm trying to sell you underwear, and you're telling me about Ari Shafir and Cowboy Surround. What are we doing? You trying to? Are, you, are we talking about couture yeah. or not? Why don't I do ads for Dior and Chanel? <laughs> Fuck it. What am I doing here? Plugging. It's a good underwear. Is it's what great. I'm saying. It really is good. Yeah. I like it. You don't get that sweaty. It's like nice, you know? Mm-hmm. You know, it's nice. All right. 20% off Tim Dillon. Just buy the underwear to help the fucking show. Really enough, folks. Good underwear, please, it's for the show. Just use promo code Tim and save 20%. Promo code Tim. It is a good product. Thank you. Sheath underwear. I wear it all the time. I wear it in the pool. This is a this is an underwear that functions as a bathing suit. It is perfect. I love it. We all wear it. Ben wears it. Dan wears it. Everybody I know wears it. I put it on for both of them in the morning. It's part of the job. Part of the job description. No one's upset about it. Hollywood's a fun place. Sheath underwear. It, it, you, it has a little pouch. You tuck your cock into the balls in the pouch. Do you use the pouch? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes I, use the pouch. I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, not, Ben's got a bigger dick than everyone else, so he gets to use the pouch. Sometimes <laughs> I will use the pouch, and sometimes I won't. Sometimes it's nice to tuck it in the pouch. Gives you a little bit of, like, a little, can you give you a half when you're walking around mm-hmm. if you're trying to show off uh, for the uh, ladies or gentlemen or dog. You fuck dogs? <laughs> 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 you like dog? <laughs> Buy it. You know, it's it, the balls don't get stuck to your leg. The dick goes in the pouch. Everybody's happy. Mm-hmm. Use promo code Tim. Save twenty percent. This is your come to Jesus moment. Do you believe in the Lord or not? Do you believe in miracles? If so, the Holy Grail of underwear is upon us. Sheath is underwear worn by comedians and UFC fighters. True warriors on the front line. Sheath, baby. I'm telling you, these guys are a small business. They love comedy. They support a lot of big podcasts. They support a lot of big podcasts. They support a lot of people that like to go out and have a lot of fun and make the world a funnier place for people. They don't never yell at me about my ads, I think. No, no, no. They're, they're fans of the show. They're fans of the show. They're fans of the ads. If you really, if you're going to support somebody, it's killer fucking underwear, dude. It's really, really good. It's really, really, really good. There are great gifts for Christmas stocking. You'll be the hero for giving sheath. And they're durable. You can wear them in the pool. You could you could wear them around the house. I mean, it's just really a good idea. You can even, to be honest with you, if you're in an area where there's not a lot of people, you can kind of wear them jogging. Like it's it's they're yeah. kind of like bicycle short. They're yeah, like totally. weirdly versatile. Mm. If if you're that person, you can kind of just wear them. They look like the band, they kind of look like shorts. If you get the black sheath with the red band, they kind of look like shorts. Yeah. What are the cops gonna stop you? Say, do you not have pants on? I don't know. I'm not saying to go out in underwear. I don't want to want to do that. But listen, they're great underwear if you want to have sex with a woman or a man or a dog. If you want to have sex with a dog. Do you understand? You know who I'm talking to out there. <laughs> you dog fuckers. <laughs> wow. 
What? It's f- comedy, folks. Can everyone lighten up? Just because you're selling a product doesn't mean it shouldn't be fun. It's great underwear, mm-hmm. and and people that have sex with animals should also be allowed to wear it. It's true. Correct? Correct. Yes or yes. <laughs> it is the best underwear. I love it. I want more of it. Send me more of it, Sheath. I'm here in the Palm Springs heat, which is hotter than the devil's balls. Having a cooling underwear with an amplify size ergonomic pouch that keeps your boys off your legs is priceless. This is a great way to start a a conversation with a woman going to date with. Go, my balls used to stick to my leg. Now I have sheath underwear. Can I fuck your dog? Ow. (laughs) How many dates would we have to go on before we could involve your dog? God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> you ever? Let me ask you. Let's pretend you're on a date, okay, right? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. How, are you enjoying yourself? Yeah, the salad was salad was okay. I mean, I wish the entree had come out already, but. What'd um, you get? Um, I got the lamb. Um, I heard it's good here. I, I've never been here before, though. What kind of dog do you have? <laughs> oh, God damn it. I have a, I have a golden doodle. Oh yeah. Yeah. Do you have a dog? I've had many dogs, and my my question to you is this: How many dates before we could go back to your house and fuck your dog? <laughs> and then you go, I'm wearing sheath, and then she laughs. She goes, oh. oh. And everyone gets yeah. the joke, unless she wants to fuck the dog. <laughs> That's your way out. Is there a promo code? What are we doing here? Is Use promo code Tim and promo save 20%. Promo code Tim. This is the last ad I'm doing for these people, probably. I'm kidding. I love them. Promo code Tim and save 20%. We all, the guy who runs his company said I was a comic genius today. So what, I mean, how can he be mad? I like this guy. This guy's great. Yeah. Great gifts for Christmas stocking. And you will be the hero for giving sheath. Sheath dot What? It's promo code Tim and save 20%. I- promo code Tim, you save 20%. I'm kidding about the sex with the dog. Stop canceling the ads to the show, please. Yeah, it's sheathunderwear.com. Look they- at that underwear. Look yeah. how good it is. It's great. It's great, folks. Get the underwear, please. I'm going to wake up to so many calls tomorrow. I'm kidding. Some sick ass home just jerking off the thought of it. It's like, finally, a podcast that recognizes who I am. No. All right. It's great as underwear. It's great as a bathing suit. The guy who uh, runs Sheath Underwear is a big fan of mine. He's a huge fan of comedy. He's a big supporter of comedy and podcasters. It's really, really good. Sheathunderwear.com. Go. Check it out. If you use Tim30, you save 30% till Christmas. Sheath is amazing. I really, really like it. And I'm not just saying that. They send me, I got a care package of it today. It's mm-hmm. perfect. It's great. If you're an athlete, it's great. If you're a, not an athlete, it's great. If you're a swimmer, it's great. If you don't swim, it's great. If you sweat a lot, it's great. If you don't sweat a lot, it's fine. It has like a pouch to keep your junk all, you know, nice and perky. And, mm-hmm. you know, it really, it, 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 um, it stops chafing. It stops... All the uncomfortable stuff that, you know, you run into with underwear. Uh, sheath underwear really eliminates all of that. And it's it's great. It comes in some cool styles. It's fun. Um, you know, it, it's really all I wear now in terms of underwear. It really is the best. They're the best underwear company. And I'm, I'm, I'm really happy that they sponsored the show and that I actually like the product. You wear it too? Yes, I do. Yeah. I mean, that's a real, you know, testament to it is that both of us wear it. We actually do. We actually, we actually do yeah, wear yeah. it. Ben wears women's panties. <laughs> and I had to get him to eventually start trying sheath underwear. Mm-hmm. Um, but he wears thongs, like thongs that stick out of his jeans to a yeah. point where it's kind of like, it's odd, yeah. but that's part of what happens when you're raised deeply Christian. You have to act out in these interesting ways. Mm-hmm. And Ben wears kind of like leopard thongs and black thongs, really like stripper thongs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just just a G-string jammed up his ass. But then we said, why don't you try sheath? And since then, he's been wearing sheath. Love it. And it's been, you know, a really good thing for him. 
you know, and we really appreciate that because he just wore G strings and it was like odd. But I support my friends and even him, who's he's more of an acquaintance, really. <laughs> but I support him in whatever he does, you know. But so if you go to sheathunderwear.com, it's pretty simple, folks. You go to sheathunderwear.com, do some research. The inventor Robert Patron, what's his name? The inventor Robert Patron. Check the story. It's interesting and even somewhat inspiring. Yeah, it's an inspiring story of the shit. Can you get up the story of the sheath underwear guy? By the way. This better be fucking inspiring. I'll take back everything I said, but I do like the underwear. But Robert Patron sheath underwear. I mean, what's the story here? What's the inspiring story? What is the inspiring story? I'm very curious now as to why what the... Why is there a link? Why, where is, what is the inspiring story for your sheath underwear? It's like Robert spent 10 years as a neo-Nazi in a militia, and then he decided that it was time to make underwear. Because he realized he didn't really hate Jews. He just hated chafing. Where's his story? Oh, our story. Here we our go. story. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, it's the ve- he's a veteran. That's right. This is what it is. Robert Patton. Robert Patton. He's a veteran. He was serving our country overseas in the scorching heat of the Iraqi desert. He was a guard at a prison called Abu Ghraib, which they then closed. Robert was the leash specialist at Abu Ghraib. I don't know what that means. He tended to the dogs. He was the German shepherd trainer and leash specialist at Abu Ghraib (laughs) prison. And then I think he went to work at a restaurant called Guantanamo Bay, which was probably a seafood restaurant. And he was in charge of the water. I guess he was a busboy. So he did the water at Guantanamo Bay and he did the leashes and the dogs at Abu Ghraib, which is probably what I, I think what they were doing is they were uh, giving dogs to the Iraqi children, and he was in charge of leashing the dog and then giving the puppies to the families. That's nice. So it is an inspiring story. <laughs> hey, sheathunderwear.com. Sheathunderwear. Is that, am I saying that right? Can you get the thing up, please? Oh, yeah. Sheathunderwear.com. Tim 30. You save 30% till Christmas. If you're very good looking and you want to take a photo of yourself in the sheath and you have a nice bulge, I'll repost it. But it, you better be very good looking, six pack, big bulge, and we'll, we'll put it right on the Instagram. Try to get you some followers. Try to get your OnlyFans some traction. Sheathunderwear.com, promo code TIM30. I was on Rogan for one of the biggest episodes. The person who wrote this ad copy said his biggest episode ever. That's untrue. It was one of the biggest ones. The companies that advertise on the show are either a super great product that I love or have a gang of money and usually both to be working with me. And this one in particular is a fan of my comedy, which means he is like you. I mean, this guy, great guy, fan of my comedy, veteran, respect him. I mean, horrible writer. But I do. I'm wearing the underwear right now, actually. And it's great underwear. Um, It's great as a bathing suit. It's great as a, and I wasn't in my underwear for the entire episode. We're just doing ads now. But the reality is this guy, I have a lot of respect for him. Um, He started a company that's really successful. Sheath underwear is great. We all wear it. It's really cool. Um, It has a little pouch you can put your dick in, which is very important um, because your balls and your dick, it keeps them all separate so you don't sweat, especially in the heat. It's very important in the heat. Um, listen, they pay me to promote them, which we all know, but I actually use the product. You know what I mean? Um, and I respect it. Do you know who this guy, this is the guy who, this, the guy who owns his company and, and which is pretty cool. I didn't know about this. Remember when Muammar Gaddafi was sodomized to death? This is the guy who did that. They have a dual pouch, separate compartments. For maximum support and performance, Modal Spandex Fabric Blend is is cool to the touch and provides absorption. Designer waistband, eye-catching waistbands offered in different themes and color schemes for added style, multi-directional stretching fabric sculpts, precisely the it's as comfortable as you can get, very, right? So comfortable. It's really and it doesn't bother me. I have very sensitive skin. I look horrible today. Obviously, I've spent a week just destroying myself, but uh, I have very sensitive skin, and it actually uh, it doesn't ever. I'm never bothered by it, right? No, never. Why won't you let your wife fuck you in the ass? (laughs) 
Has she ever expressed a desire to? No, never. Do you know people that do that? Like, that get- of course, people that are evolved. I don't understand. She's never expressed the desire to just put on a fake dildo and ram you in the ass. No. Sheathunderwear.com. Use code TIM30. Save 30%. Is that true? Yeah. Just till Christmas. I think the sale is still going. That they, That's the copy they sent, but. Use Tim 30. You save 30% on the underwear. I'm telling you right now, it's a great way to support the show. And I'll be very honest with you. It's the most comfortable underwear I've ever used. And it is something that's pretty cool. And uh, the guy who started this company is a a veteran who served our country. You know what I mean? And um, so to me, it's like that, that is a very, he was the guy who threw Bin Laden's body in the water. You know, so I thought yeah. that was that's a pretty cool thing to do to like have that story. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's true. He was, um, you know, they he was going to try to get a job at one of those mercenary groups like Blackwater, but they said he was too violent. So he had to start an underwear company. But he's doing a great job. I really appreciate this guy because he lets me say whatever I want on these ads, which I like. And the underwear is good. The product's good. I mean, I, I, I mean, you know, I, I don't, I, I've never, nobody's ever had a problem with sheath underwear. Nobody's ever had a problem with sheath underwear. You know. What about one time? What about one time if she said, "I just want to stick something up it as far as it can go"? You would still say no. I'm very uncomfortable with that. I don't think I could do that. Because it would hurt you. Yeah, that sounds painful. It's very painful. Yeah. But do you know what else is painful? What? Anything worth it. Sheathunderwear.com. <laughs> Use code TIM30. <laughs> Very few ads you can break out into that. Buy this. If nothing else, buy this because this guy has the best sense of humor of any company advertising on the show. This guy literally is the biggest comedy fan that advertises on the show. He advertises on every all of your favorite comedy podcasts. He's one of the companies that allows us to make a living, do whatever we want, say whatever we want, and have fun. And if you're a fan of this show, you should be a fan of that. That's dead serious about that, like 100%. And he also shot JFK. He's the guy who shot <laughs> JFK in that. Sheathunderwear.com. I can't say enough about sheath underwear. Everybody loves it. Everyone that has it loves it. It's nice. They have a flexible pillowcase for your junk. It's literally all I wear now. They are the best. You have to try it yourself. Give them a Google. Do some research on the inventor, Robert Patron. Is he a patron? Robert Patron. Check the story. It's interesting and even somewhat inspiring. This is the guy Mm -hmm. who was in the military. That's right. And he served our country. Yes. You know? Mm -hmm. It's pretty damn cool when you have somebody who is a veteran Mm -hmm. who then gets into another business. Yeah. And I don't care. I mean, listen. I'm not going to start relitigating everything that might have happened over there. What is a civilian, really? What what does a civilian mean? Isn't anyone a threat? I'm not going to ask why he got out of the military. <laughs> I'm not going to ask how he got out of the military. It's, a, it's a, who cares? I'm going to start going nuts. I'm not going to ask if some of the things he did were leaked out by Edward Snowden. I'm not going to get into that. doesn't matter. He served the country. Mm-hmm. And now he makes underwear, and the underwear is good. Yeah. So it, it does not matter, you know, what what whatever happened, whatever he was involved in. doesn't matter. I don't need to – I'm not a perfect person. Are you a perfect person? No. 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 That's all. That's all I'm saying. I'm sure this guy did everything on the up and up. You know? You throw in a couple of beers with the down with the guys from Blackwater. Maybe you go into the town, you raise a little hell. Maybe you raise a little hell over there. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a rat. I'm not somebody who's gonna, you know. Mm-hmm. I don't know what happened. Doesn't matter. Move on, as he clearly has. It's great. Here we go. Me ranting about my thoughts and feelings. Point 
is that I love this underwear and they pay me to promote them, but they could have left after my last ad read because it because they didn't because it was funny, right? Because that's here's the reality: mm. they don't mind what I say, right? They're that's what we the like. Show. They're fans of comedy. Support them because of that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Who cares? That it may or may not be run by a genocidal maniac. Like Colonel Kurtz from Apocalypse Now. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Women and, chi women and children? They can carry bombs like everyone else. Do you get that? A toddler can be as devastating as a, as a, as a, a, a regular man. Mm -hmm. So they got to go. That's all. That's what I'm trying to say. This guy served his country. Did he lock Chelsea Manning in a cell? Maybe, but it's not my business what he did because she's a rat. She ratted. He had a couple of beers. They took the guns and they just fired into a crowd to just keep people on their toes. Sheath Underwear.com. Sheath, S H E A T H U N D E R W E A R dot C O M. Sheath Underwear.com. Use code TIM to save 20%. You use the code TIM, you save 20%. Sheath oh, we, underwear. Oh, yeah. All right, we got to do these live. <laughs> Uh, sheath underwear. It is good. It is good. A lot of the things we advertise, we don't even know what they are before we read the ads. We really have no idea. I remember when we were advertising Monday.com and they got yeah. mad. I'm like, I don't know what it is. I read the whole ad. I go, I don't know what it is. Still, I didn't know what it was. Monday.com. I'm like, I don't know. What is it? Mm. <laughs> They're like, it's a peer to peer software. I'm like, what? Yeah. What is this? But sheath underwear is underwear. It's actually underwear. It's good. It's uh, it support. You have the pouch for your penis and balls. And if you're a woman with a penis and balls, or a man with a penis and balls, or you don't identify in the gender binary and you have a penis and balls, or you've added a nice tiny little penis <laughs> and balls that was sculpted out of a vagina, like some flabby loose vag skin that they made into a little Vienna sausage corkscrew peen, but you're like, fuck yeah, I feel better like this. Or if you've taken a penis and then invert, and I often think of doing this, and just splitting it right down the middle and throwing up the turkey on either side of the leg and, and having a vag, but I still keep my sack. <laughs> Any configuration of 2021 genitalia, sheath underwear, is great. Whether it's a cock or just a flab of fucking beef you want to stick in there, you can do whatever you need. You could swim in them. We, we use them as swimsuits, you know? They're great. Doesn't matter. It's good. You should... Uh, the guy's a big comedy fan, which is why I can do this. If you go to sheathunderwear.com... Is this the guy who's in the military? Uh, yes, 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 yes. He's this guy started an underwear company. Uh, after he got back from Iraq. So support him. Uh, sheathunderwear.com. Use code Tim to save 20% off. If you use code Tim, you save 20% off the underwear. Uh, <laughs> Sheath underwear is great. It works as underwear and a bathing suit. Go to sheathunderwear.com. The owner of Sheath Underwear, the founder of Sheath Underwear, was um, a soldier. And I like to support businesses of the troops. And um, it ha they have a flexible pillowcase for your junk. It's literally all I wear. They're the best. You have to try it yourself. Give them a Google, sheathunderwear.com. The inventor, Robert Patron, mm -hmm. check the story. It's interesting and even somewhat inspiring. It is inspiring. It really is. Do you know the sheath underwear story? No. Robert was uh, in the service. I forget which branch. Marines or something. Maybe not. Maybe Army. I don't know. He went to Iraq. He went... He 
I had like three tours or four or something crazy. Three or four tours in Iraq. And then he came home and he had a little PTSD. And he murdered his wife and his kids. He murdered his wife and his two children. And then he started this underwear company. And it, it's so comfortable to me that I don't know why anyone wears anything else. He bludgeoned them. He bludgeoned his wife in front of the children first. And then he said he couldn't live with uh, the types of people that they would grow up to be. So he killed both of them. This is sad, but this is common and this is what happens. But this is what heroes sometimes do. And he killed his family. And then he started an underwear company. And it is really great. And it's because it cradles your junk in a very good way. You know? He learned about the importance of underwear when he was organizing um, the warlords in Afghanistan who like to fuck ladyboys in Afghanistan, many of them children. He learned about the importance of underwear because uh, the climate in Afghanistan is very interesting. It's very hilly. The only thing that grows there is opium. And they, they would walk around a lot and they would chafe. Their junk would chafe. And they wanted their junk to be nice for when they just submerged it into the child ladyboys that uh, are running around Afghanistan. And we were organizing the warlords to overthrow the Taliban because the warlords, even though they were pedophile opium farmers, we felt that they would construct a, a successful democracy in uh, Afghanistan. So the warlords had gone to Robert and said, we need to cradle our junk so we could continue fucking these lady boys uh, in tents and so that, because it's what we do, and then we can uh, start work on roads and bridges and a library. So he learned about underwear from them. He also learned about underwear uh, when a lot of, it was so hot in Guantanamo Bay, they used to put people in like a hot box and it would be so hot. And the guards that would have to check on them would say, hey man, so much sweat, you know, the balls are sticking to my leg. Mm -hmm. Uh, when I see, I, I got to check on this guy every three minutes to see if we've killed him. And then he'd go, why is that guy even in here? He'd go, I don't know. And he goes, he goes, but I need underwear to cradle my junk. You see? He also learned about under, uh, underwear uh, the day after he shot Benazar Budo in the face. After he shot Benazar Budo in the face, he learned... He was sitting in a cafe in Karachi, Pakistan, and he said, I wish something would cradle my junk right now. And one of the Afghani warlords was like, we can get a child to do it. He's like, no, 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 I'm not into that. So they said, uh, you should uh, invent an underwear. I'm doing the ad the way they want. I'm just, hey, I'm just following orders. SheathUnderwear.com, 20% off. Use the code Tim. <laughs> <laughs> we have to say that. <laughs> we have to say that. How often do you get the chance to buy underwear from a man who is dishonorably discharged from the military for murdering a child unprovoked? Well, today I'm going to give that to you. SheathUnderwear.com. Sheath, it's great as underwear, as a bathing suit. It's a little pouch that you can put, not little, but it's a pouch to put your cock and balls in. It helps you that you don't sweat and chafe. It is great. It has that moisture wicking stuff, but it, you don't get a rash. It is great. SheathUnderwear.com. I'm telling you, the inventor, Robert Patron, check out the story. It's interesting. It's somewhat inspiring that a man would come back from murdering civilians and start a company where he sells underwear to other men because he's a tough man that didn't have any gay experiences in the military at all. He's a man that is tough, that thinks about sweaty balls and shafts, but he loves pussy, and there was absolutely no strange Brokeback Mountain-style experience in the tents over there in Fallujah. Do not think about it at all. He's, he's focused mainly on the sweat of men's balls. Sheathunderwear.com. Sheathunderwear.com. Don't ask, don't tell. They have, there's a flexible pillowcase for your junk. It's literally all I wear now. They're the best if you have to try it yourself. Give them a Google, sheathunderwear.com. Do some research. Sheath, the inventor, Robert Patron. 
Oh, we just read this. Whatever. He's great. He's a gay murderer <laughs> who killed babies in the military. And if that's not something you can't can get behind, then you're not an American. He he loved going to Iraq and sucking cock and shooting people in the face. And then he came back to make an underwear that keeps your balls from sweating so that when someone is sucking them after they've murdered a family trying to get information, uh, which is what he used to do, they're all good. They love comedy, sheath underwear. You know, one of these, they're just going to go enough. Maybe the gay thing. One of them. <laughs> I keep trying to find an angle where they drop us. I literally keep trying to do it. I, it can't happen. Mm. I keep trying to find an angle. So I'm, I'm going to call this guy gay now for a few weeks to see if that'll do it. And then if that doesn't do it, we'll move on to something else. But this is a gay man who started an underwear company <laughs> because he likes cock. And he doesn't like when it gets too sweaty. He likes a nice uh, dry cock. He wants to make it wet while he's blowing another soldier in the desert. It's a love story. It's good underwear. It legit is. Mm -hmm. Sheathunderwear.com. It really is good underwear. Yeah, we wear it. And the guy who started it really is a gay murderer. <laughs> you know? All things can be true. Both things can be true. Sheathunderwear.com. You use code TIM to save 20%. Sheath, S-H-E-A-T-H, underwear.com. Uh, use the code T-I-M. Thank you. The companies that advertise this show are either a great product that I love or a gang of money and usually both to be working with me. And this one in particular is a fan of my comedy, sheathunderwear.com. Boy, do I love sheath. It has a pillowcase for your junk. It's a pillow. It's beautiful. They are the best. You have to try it for yourself. You got to give them a Google, sheathunderwear.com. Do some research. The inventor, Robert Patron, Check the story. It's interesting and even somewhat uh, inspiring. And I don't know if you know the story of Robert Patron, who is the, the leader of Sheath Underwear, the guy who invented Sheath Underwear. He is the first openly gay person to be court-martialed for war crimes in the United States military. It is an inspiring story about an openly gay kind of Marquis de Sade type who just uh, participated in the routine, brutal murder and torture of women and children. Mm. But it's also, he was openly gay, so it's like everyone contains multitudes. Sheathunderwear.com. Use code TIM to save 20% till Christmas. Sheathunderwear.com. We do love it. We use it. It's great as a bathing suit, too. Sheathunderwear.com. Use code TIM to save 20% till Christmas and support this openly gay, psychotic mass murderer. Sheathunderwear.com, promo code Tim. Sheath underwear, it's the best underwear. You can use it as a bathing suit. It has a pouch for your cock and balls. The inventor, Robert Patron, checked the story. It's very interesting. He was the person who tortured Chelsea Manning. <laughs> right after Chelsea Manning um, leaked the information that we were randomly massacring civilians, Chelsea Manning was tortured in a small cell. Robert Patron did that. He tortured Chelsea Manning every day for this country. Sheathunderwear.com. You save 20% if you use the promo code TIM. Uh, he's a real deal fucking military guy who was involved in some of the craziest secret missions. We're just starting to find out details of these missions now. Um, um, Operation Burn an Orphanage. Um, amazing. Where what they did was they landed and they lit an orphanage on fire. <laughs> And then everybody ran out of their house to see, to help to rescue the babies. And then they also shot them. Um, Operation Withhold Medicine from Sick Children, where your child would go to the doctor to get medicine, but instead, Robert Patron would be there and he would put a gun in the doctor's mouth and say, don't give this kid medication until the parent tells us everything we need to know. So some of these incredibly vital missions that Robert Patron was, I'm proud to support sheathunderwear.com, S-H-E-A-T-H, sheath 
Underwear.com. A nice little pouch for your cock and balls prevents chafing. It's great for the summer. Robert Patron is one of the reasons, truly one of the reasons that America does not recognize uh, the uh, legitimacy of the war crimes uh, tribunal in The Hague, the International Criminal Court, uh, because of Robert Patron's actions. And we're so proud of him. He's uh, one of the reasons that the United States of America refuses to listen to any U.N. resolutions uh, condemning degrading, inhuman, and cruel treatment of prisoners. Robert Patron. Um, you know, in Iraq, he made quite a name for himself. The Butcher of Baghdad, some said. Okay? The Raper of Riyadh, because he would go to Saudi Arabia and rape men and women. And they're our ally. He just did that for fun. They call him the Raper of Riyadh, the Butcher of Baghdad, and he started an underwear company. Sheathunderwear.com. Use promo code TIM to save 20%. Sheathunderwear.com. It's the best underwear, and we support them. The owner of Sheath Underwear, Robert, what's his name? Patron. He's being charged right now for war crimes at The Hague, and we still support him, and we think that that woman, that pregnant woman, did have a bomb, and I think that the evidence will show that, and I think Robert acted um, appropriately. Sheath Underwear is great. It's got a pouch for your junk. So you don't chafe. Very important in the summer. Great underwear can be used as a bathing suit. Go to sheathunderwear.com. Promo code Tim, you save 20%. Do you know how important it is? Uh, not only right now because it's the summer and sheath underwear is great underwear, but to support Robert who is in the fight of his life right now, being charged uh, with a war crime for an act in Iraq. Okay, where he shot a pregnant woman in her stomach. <laughs> I know for a fact that he did that as a last resort. <laughs> and I support Sheath Underwear because I support Robert. And he didn't even, she didn't even die. Yeah. From the shot in the stomach. This is what people don't realize. She lost the baby. <laughs> That's sad. They're accusing him. They're saying that after he shot her, a man matching his description doused her with kerosene and lit her on fire. I don't believe that. That hasn't been proven. If it was proven that he did it, I'm sure there's a really damn good reason that he lit that woman on fire after shooting her baby. Mm -hmm. Sheathunderwear.com promo code Tim to save 20%. You know, he was dishonorably discharged from the military and they're kind of turning their back on him mm. because they're saying he kind of went AWOL and uh, it was like an Apocalypse Now situation where he was basically running his own thing and they said he was not taking orders and he didn't respect the chain of command. He was just kind of going out and butchering women and children. What I think he was doing is what needed to be done to uh, secure uh, his brothers and fight for our nation's interests. Support him. And not that lying bitch that he lit on fire. <laughs> Sheathunderwear.com, promo code Tim. The companies that advertise on this show are great products. Sheath Underwear is my favorite. Put it on. Sheath Underwear. S-H-E-A-T-H Underwear. It's great as underwear. It's great as a bathing suit. Um, Robert pa Pat Patron, 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 who's the owner of Sheath Underwear, um, uh, is great. He served in the United States military honorably and continues to be a leader mm -hmm. for people. Now, do you, do you know his story? Because he's, they're saying people like this don't exist. I met him. He seemed like a great dad and great family. Well, guy. and you know what's crazy about that? What? He, Robert Patron is a virtuous pedophile, <laughs> meaning he's attracted to children, infants, but doesn't do anything about it. Amazing. Sheathunderwear.com. Use the promo code TIM to save 20%.
do it and it supports our show and it supports him, not fucking kids. I love sheath underwear. It's great. It is perfect. It has a, a, a pouch for your balls uh, and your penis. And that's what people want now because you don't chafe and it's great. And sheathunderwear.com, use promo code TIM to save 20%. It's so interesting. Do you know who the owner of this company is? Uh, Robert Patron, right? Do you know his story? I know he's like a you, veteran of You want kind? to talk about an, an inspiring story. Like a, like a guy who like li literally is like crazy inspiring. Mm. Like Teddy Roosevelt, like a guy like that or kind of. This guy Robert Patron is a veteran mm. of the armed forces. Do you know what his why are you laughing? Do you know what his job was while he was deployed in Iraq and Afghanistan? I don't. His job was to entrap important figures by providing them children to have sex with. Do you know what a hard job that is? Do you know how morally compromising that is? Yeah. Giving these important figures that we need to blackmail mm. children to rape and, in some cases, murder? But he's saving lives at the same time. But it's saving lives because he's getting the... In we blackmail them to get the info mm. that keeps us safe. Mm. Right, yeah. Fight them and provide them with children abroad so you don't have to fight them at home. <laughs> Robert Patron, sheathunderwear.com, promo code TIM to save 20%. I mean, it's not... Hey, anyone can go over there and, like, shoot a bad guy. Mm. I mean, anyone can do that. But what's really difficult is kidnapping children and then providing them uh, to warlords that we need to blackmail uh, while they, and he would have to stand outside while the warlords raped and murdered the kids. <laughs> but th that's real, to me, yeah. that's real patriotism. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not the type of patriotism uh, that a lot of people have where they're just flag waving. Mm -hmm. This guy actually did the work. And we respect sheathunderwear.com, promo code Tim. Sheathunderwear.com. How many times must I tell you about this company? They have the best underwear. They have a pouch for your cock and balls so that you cannot sweat and chafe all the things that happen. Sheathunderwear.com was founded by a guy named Robert Patron. Do you know Robert Patron's story? I don't think I have. It's very inspiring. It's very inspiring. Robert Patron was a, a a Marine or something? Serviceman? Mm -hmm. mm. Do we know Army? I believe he was in the Armed Forces. He's in the Armed Forces. And he served in... I. What's funny about somebody making this sacrifice? <laughs> Robert Patron served in Iraq. <laughs> and in Iraq, <laughs> Robert Patron served honorably. Mm. Mm. And that's the story. Go to sheathunderwear.com. You'll save 20% if you use the code Tim. Sheathunderwear.com. Save 20% if you use the code TIM and help a guy who went to Iraq and served honorably mm. and did the right thing. When he got back from Iraq, he married a 15-year-old <laughs> girl. <laughs> and then she disappeared. What year was that? Because Ted Nugent did that in the 70s. This was recently. He got back, <laughs> well, somewhat recently. He got back from Iraq. He married a 15-year-old girl. And then he killed her because he, he, he realized he was gay. <laughs> Sheathunderwear.com. <laughs> Sheathunderwear.com. <laughs> Use Tim <laughs> as the promo code. Save 20%. Buy the underwear, folks. Supports us.